what's going on everybody it's portal back with another cfb 25 video in today's video i'm gonna be going over one of the glitchiest methods that you can be doing in dynasty mode right now now before we get to the video guys as always make sure you give this video a big thumbs up can we get a thousand likes in this video i have a feeling this video is going to do pretty well so can we get a thousand likes every like goes a long way in helping the channel out so make sure you do give it a big thumbs up make sure to comment down below if you have any other variations or things to add to this so let me know what your results are while doing this and guys we are so close to 30,000 subscribers. Like it is insane. We're about 300, maybe 400 away at this point from when you watch this video. Can we do it? My goal and dream someday is to hit 100K. So this is just one step in the road there, but I'd greatly appreciate it. And of course, if you guys haven't already, check out Underdog. Underdog is the greatest place to play fantasy sports. My code will be down below in the description. My link will be there. Make sure to use it. If you sign up, you do get a great match bonus up to 1,000, as well as a free pick, which is basically free money and just check it out i promise you guys you won't regret it if you need any help signing up just let me know over on twitter and of course follow me over there as well but let's get into it all right guys so this is pretty crazy uh there's a few things i'm gonna go over here i'm gonna go over the background for it so make sure you stay tuned to the end because there is a few factors and variables to this so first and foremost i'm gonna go through the context of it so you guys understand like the theory behind it secondly it's good to understand the theory behind it because you can catch people in your league if you do want to ban this you can catch people in your league doing this, which will help a lot. And understanding the theory behind it will help you catch other people in your league that are doing this and or just understand when it's great to use this. It's all up to you and how you want to take it. Like I say, I do these videos for informational purposes. You can benefit from them. You can use them as a way to tell when other people are doing them, or you can just enjoy the content. So let's get into it. So first things first, this method does occur on National Signing Day. This is going to be the day that you want to definitely pause at and reassess your roster. So let's go through a few things and lay out the foundation and background like I did mention. So when you go over to your roster, you can look at just about any player here. I'm going to use Deshaun Walmack as a great example of this. So when you look at Walmack and you go over to his uh, his mentals and physicals, right? Physicals abilities can be upgraded, mentals cannot. So if you look at the right, you can see what he's currently eligible for, right? So if you see duress, he has 94 power move. He needs a 94 power move to upgrade, but he only has a 91, which means he can't be upgraded. Same thing with Grip Breaker, same thing with Pocket Disruptor. But if you look, Pocket Disruptor is 91 power move, but 91 currently, which means he is eligible for gold, but he doesn't get it. As you guys do know in this game, when you upgrade abilities or how they upgrade abilities is basically the player will use their skill points in the top right corner all the way over there, and they will use them to upgrade abilities. So basically the way the game works is you either end up with a player that's super high overall or has a lot of abilities or could be somewhere in between like an 88 to 91 with both. So that's kind of a great way of balancing the game from not having 99 overall players with max abilities like Madden. But there is a way around this, and this is really the glitchiest way to grow players because it allows you to get your abilities without using skill points and potentially upgrade your overall. And this is how you end up with maxed out players. So just understand when a player is eligible for ability, this is when you want to do this. And I want to go through a few more examples here because I think that's very important. Durham's another great example of a running back who is usually eligible for a few things but doesn't have them just yet. And you can do this with any player on your roster. This literally applies to all. You want to go through every offseason at this day and check what players have eligibility that you don't currently have. So for instance, change of direction. For gold, shifty, he needs a 96. He has a 98, so he's eligible. For sidestep bronze, he needs an 87. He has an 88. He's eligible. For takeoff, he, has an, he needs a 98. He has a 99. For spin move, he needs an 85. He has an 84. Sorry, he has an 84. He needs an 85. 99 stamina. He basically is eligible for everything on this list. But because the game is upgrading his overall, he's not getting abilities. So this is where it all comes together. Make sure you do look through each player's stuff. When they have eligible abilities, if you utilize position change day, you actually can auto unlock their abilities. And even better, here's the kicker. Now, when it comes time to get some skill points next season, instead of throwing their 20, 30 skill points and upgrading all those thresholds that they're ready for, they'll instead throw it at, at, at ratings. So now you can get a player, instead of an 87 player with Platinums, you can get a 95 player with Platinums. And in my opinion, ratings are king in this game. Abilities are amazing, but having ratings with abilities is how you have a dominant team and player. So every offseason on this day, you want to be going through and actually reassessing your roster. Now, again, some leagues may not allow this, so it's great for you to understand. People might be doing this in your league. And if you want to know what people are doing, let's go through that too. If you want to know what people are doing it, the most telltale sign is when you're actually looking at their, their thresholds, they happen to have every ability possible so this is how i noticed it in my league and how other people notice it in other leagues is if you went to durham right and he had gold and he had sidestep and he had takeoff you'd be like okay maybe he unlocked them all maybe but if you keep going through their roster you'll notice that every player has everything they can possibly get and it's even funnier when you look at like let's say cornerbacks right this is where you really can tell when a cornerbacks are being what i want to call let's call it the re-roll flip method when you're re-rolling their position you'll notice that like a cornerback this guy if he has above 90 man he'll have platinum 
house call or platinum robber or platinum jammer but then the next guy only has an 88 he has gold it's like you'll notice that every player is tiered exactly to where their overall is and that's when you know you're being re-rolled so let's go through how to actually do it and of course this might be a lot this might be complex ask questions hit me up on twitter i'll help you out so position changes and where this really gets even crazier is some players are far better at other positions than they are at their own position so not only can you get their max set abilities you can also switch their position entirely and also upgrade them so womack is a guy that i love showcasing for this because in my own league like i know that he's a much better he's usually a much better run stuffer but again he has to be a higher overall now i do want to i want to preface this again with some more context this works best on players in the 85 to 91 range typically and i'm gonna go why i'm gonna go through why as you saw with those thresholds on the players a lot of those thresholds are going to be the 80 to 90 overall so a low a 70 overall low 80 overall player you're not going to really get the bang for your buck for switching them because they don't have th they haven't hit thresholds yet anyways so you're just switching them for no reason really this works best on players 85 to like 92 because a lot a lot of the time those players actually have hit all the thresholds and you're just like why don't they have their abilities they should be having quick jump they should be having quick drop but what I will say is don't do this on current day players, like the, the elite ones, like the Harold Perkins, James Pierce, Nico. Those guys come like preset with some abilities already in this game and you can kind of destroy them. I don't like touching those. It's best to do on recruits or like first year guys like Womack who started on the team as a freshman, guys who have been built. And one other thing, don't do this on players that came with glitchy abilities. You know, when you recruit that edge rusher that comes with platinum quick jump, but like his, his finesse moves only in 84. Don't touch those guys. Those guys come with glitchy abilities already. So you don't want to touch them because actually on the reverse, if you reroll them, they'll flip their abilities to where they should be, which might be silver. So if a guy comes with glitchy abilities, don't touch him. This is meant to upgrade the guys who are being kind of screwed on abilities as well as max their overalls. So look at Deshaun, look at Deshaun Womack one more time. If you notice here, he currently has pocket disruptor and duress and Caleb Durham has all this, right? So let's go to change Durham. So if we change Durham to a fullback, at 77 overall, you'll notice that, right, he drops down. That's normal. He's now a fullback. He got his other abilities, but you can now go back and change him back to an elusive back. And when you do this, you'll see what happens. He should get all of his stuff. And now, if you take a look, Caden Durham is now the glitchiest running back in the league. Shifty on platinum, takeoff on platinum, recoup on platinum, sidestep on bronze and 360 at silver now if you want feel free to rewind the video to what durham was before durham sorry people have killed me for saying his name wrong look at what he was before and you'll notice that durham was short of si short of shifty but he was eligible he didn't have bronze sidestep but he was eligible he didn't have platinum takeoff but he was eligible he wouldn't it didn't have silver 360 but he was eligible and his recoup also was eligible so now you may say how do i catch someone doing this like i told you before this is where it comes into play. Go back in, look at Durham. He has everything. So why isn't this sidestep silver? Because he can't get it. Why isn't this spin move above silver? It's gold. He can't get it. Why are those platinum? Because he could. You could very quickly realize that no players are below or above their threshold. Now, where this is important is you'll notice that most real recruits that you build, most players that you, you're not cheating, like you're not doing any of this, you'll notice like you'll have an elite edge rusher with 99 finesse, but his quick jumps only silver. Or he'll have like platinum quick jump, but his duress will be a bronze. You're like, oh, he should really have platinum duress too, but he'll he'll build it. You'll notice that real recruits, players that aren't being cheated, have a mix of like good abilities, bad abilities, high overall, low abilities, great abilities, bad overall. A cheating player or a player that's being, I don't want to say cheating, but a player that's being re-rolled or flipped will have everything possible at their threshold. Nothing below, nothing above exactly what they're eligible for he won't get sidestep to silver accidentally you it's basically like the co the game basically sees it as like giving it exactly what they're able to get which is what people thought the game should have done from the beginning so if that's how you feel about it feel free but you'll notice this is a great way look at caleb jackson he's an 87 overall back who typically starts as like an 81 so he's only upgrading he's only upgrading his uh ratings right now and he's not touching his abilities so now you look at caleb jackson he's actually a back that could be pretty good but he has no ability, so he's not going to be that great in this game. Feel free to flip him. Flip him over to fullback, where he ironically is even better because he ha that's where I'm talking about overalls. Notice how he became a better fullback. You'll notice with some guys, like, a, you'll notice a run-stopping a run stopping end will actually convert to an insane DT. So if you're like an 86 end that has really good block shed and he's a run-stopper, if you change him to DT, he may go up to like 93 overall. So now your ratings are even higher and you get your platinum abilities. And now they can just skyrocket to 99 quickly because all their abilities are platinum now. Keep in mind how to do this. Here we go. 
Caleb Jackson. Let's change it back to an elusive back. Remember, he had nothing. And let's see what it looks like now. You might be wondering why he has nothing. Take a look at his ability page. He needs a 92 stamina for bronze recoup. So he can't get it. He needs an 80 spin move. Doesn't have it. He needs 95 acceleration. Doesn't have it. Bronze requires 87 juke move. Doesn't have it. Bronze requires 93 change of direction. Doesn't have it. Another telltale sign of a guy. Like this shows exactly what this method does to a T. These are two great examples. Durham could get everything. Caleb could get nothing. Now this is where it gets tricky. Like I said, with changing like players who are already elite because you made up in the situation where the threat with the archetype you put them at has this issue. So be careful with that. But again, you can always just put them back. He didn't get abilities. You just don't do this on great players because if you do this and you end up demoting them to an archetype where they don't get stuff, that's a problem. This guy didn't get stuff to begin with, but this shows you no matter what you do, you can't give them abilities if they don't hit the threshold for them. Again, telltale sign you're doing this. So those are two great examples here. Now I do want to mention, remember, you can change their archetypes and that's another asset to this. That's even more important. You do want to, so basically what you want to do is every off season, you want to go through your entire team one by one by one and see if there's somewhere that could be better at like Ricky Collins. He's an 80 scrambler. He's an 80 regular as a, as a scrambler quarterback. So you don't really need to change that. Okay. He's fine. Durham, you, some guys you want to just reflip back to their spot. Like Durham, you want to just elusive to fullback back to elusive. Some guys like Walmack or at end, you may want to switch from pass rusher to run stopper. You can also do this. Let's say you have a, a, a safety, right? That's like a hybrid safety and the abilities they get, you don't really like. A good thing you do is just switch their safety spots and you could actually get them to the archetype you like. So let's say Kylan Jackson, let's see what his zone is. He has an 80 zone coverage, but he gets nothing right now. You could switch him over to free safety and see if they get something. Like I said, it's worth changing. Now you can also check, see if they get a good zone spot here, see what they can get. But you notice a lot of the times that they actually can get better stuff at different archetypes. So we switched him to free safety. He now has platinum house call. Another telltale sign of a guy flipping is that a lot of them all get platinum house call, but notice how he just got something. And again, this now increases his overall threshold because now he's not going to spend points on that. So basically what you're doing is let's say there's two buckets that you have to fill every season with a player. You can fill the ability bucket or the ratings bucket. If they split them, you get a little bit of both. If they do one, you get no rating, a bunch of abilities, or they get a lot of ratings, no abilities. By doing this, you start the season every year with the ability bucket maxed out full. So all of your assets go to the, the ratings bucket. And that's, you end up with an absolutely elite player. So as you go through, you can do this basically with every single guy on your team. And some of them are obvious. Like you'll notice like a guy, like I said, with high block shed, that's at end. And you're like, he should be a defensive tackle. Or you'll notice an outside linebacker who happens to be like a field general, but he has really high zone. You're like, he should be a pass coverage guy. He'll skyrocket up. You'll notice across the board, like him, I can move him to a, a middle linebacker. Right now he's a 88 at outside linebacker. I can move him to a middle linebacker, flip his, re-roll his abilities. Not only did he go up in overall, he now gets robber, right? So on and so forth. So make sure you are doing this every single season. You basically want to go through every single player on your roster and just reassess. You'll notice that linemen, this is another great thing to do because a lot of linemen won't have what they should have, right? If you look at DJ Chester, let's see what he got, see what he can do. He basically can go up in a few things possibly. No, he can't go up in anything. So again, a guy that you would just basically do it and notice nothing on. Now, you only want to be careful with one thing. There are certain archetypes that would mess up your guy. For instance, say you have a scrambling quarterback, it might let you change him to a field general and you don't really want to do that because he's built as a scrambler. So do check out your ratings. But overall, guys, this is super glitchy. And remember, there's three there's three aspects to this. There's flipping back to your same position for upgrading abilities, flipping to different archetypes, to upgrade your ratings plus your abilities. And then, of course, using this to reverse engineer what other people are doing. So make sure you're doing that. This is the ultimate way to grow players. And then overall, this is the ultimate way to build meta gods. Like you could build meta God players, like everything in the game. Like Durham's a great example. He literally became an absolute mammoth of a running back. Glitchiest abilities, shifty and takeoff on a running back is absolutely insane. All because you flipped him back to a spot. It took you five seconds. It's the simplest thing to do. And now going to next season, he could probably get to 99 overall very quickly because all of his XP that he's going to earn goes right to his rating. So there's no more abilities for him to upgrade. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Can we get 30K? I hope this video pushes it over. Can we get a thousand plus likes on this video? I'd greatly appreciate it. Comment down below. And if you made it this far, please check out Underdog. It helps out the channel a lot and it's a great place to play. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.